Hello, I am with Vadim. Did I say your name right? <laughs> we talked about that before. Yeah, you said and, it before. And we're here and Vadim's going to share what he does um, uh, during the rough times of stuttering. Um, yeah, so for me personally, whenever I'm having a tough, tough time and it seems and it seems like nothing is going right and all the progress I made seems to have just disappeared. Um, I always just try to go back and go back to square one, take it back to the basics and do the things that I know and do the things that I know I can do. So I have a lot of issues with running starts in my speech, so I'll go to the easiest lowest fear situations and I'll give myself a running start assignment to speak in those and not do any of them and after I'm done I can count that as a success so so whenever I'm ha having a rough time I just go back to square one accumulate some successes and build my momentum hey that's uh, a great piece of piece of advice mm -hmm. great thanks thank you thank you very much hi everybody oh sorry Did i'm rachel wanna... mccullough <laughs> <laughs> and which question uh, did you choose to answer i think i'd like to choose to answer how to get through the rough patch okay sure that's a very important one it is it is because stuttering is the only thing consistent about stuttering for me is its inconsistency. So I feel like one of the ways I manage my speech is to learn how to get through those days when I can't seem to get a word out right. Should I be looking at the camera or looking Here. at you? Thank <laughs> right you. there, I know. I'm sorry well, I should probably be doing this and doing oh. this. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, so, the screen is too small, so. <laughs> there are so many ways that people handle their downtimes. One of the ways I do, I handle it, is I remember that this is temporary. It's a moment in time. It will pass. Good point. And then I also try to think of my past experiences that have been, that have been very successful. And I know that if I did it once, I can do it again. And, and to be, I, I, I'm trying right now to learn to be comfortable with the discomfort and on my path to acceptance of stuttering uh, I feel like that's a really important um, Im Im important thing to learn is to, to have tolerance for the discomfort and the other thing that I've done is I have reached out to people at the NSA and they've been tremendously supportive uh, to say I can't get the words out, no one understands that like other people who can't get the words out. Um, I don't live with it alone any longer. Uh, and just so connectedness with other people is another way that gets me through the tough times. So there's our some tips and uh, you can add that to the rest of your <laughs> <Well>. toolbox. <laughs> Thank you very much. And our next video is with, hello. Hi. I'm Your name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. We all don't like saying our names. So. Yeah, so which question are you going to answer? I'm going to be talking about uh, children that stutter and advice. Ah, great stuff. And um, I think one of the most important things is to just let it happen. I know it's so cliche, but mm. we're at this conference now, the National Stuttering Association Conference, and there's a lot of little kids here. And I just, I was talking to somebody this this boy was probably like eight or nine and when he was talking he just had a lot of tension in his face you know I could see his veins I could see the redness and I really felt for him and I I, I wanted to tell him that the longer you fight your stuttering the harder it is you know so just the stuttering is gonna happen regardless don't push so hard the words will come out no matter how long it takes and Introduce yourself. Your name is. I'm uh, 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 yeah, Peter Hernandez, and I just want to 
and to all the kids who stutter, it's okay to stutter. Even though they're gonna make fun of you, it, it's something that's gonna make you stronger in the long run. It's gonna be hard, but just keep your head up. And mm, whenever you're down, just remember it makes you unique. You're not the only one out there, and it's okay to stutter. How I've learned, and yeah, and the friends you have that are gonna be true friends are gonna be there. And those people are going to be special because they're going to put, like, and deal with it. And um, if somebody makes fun of you, just keep on just going, and you have to and teach them. And you just talk to them. It's hard, and nobody is perfect in this world. So perfect. Here. Thank, thank you very, yeah. very uh, much. So as we listen to the coffee being made. <laughs> We have, and I can't pronounce your name. Through. There we go. <laughs> Through. Okay. So, what question are you going to answer? Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, answer the question about uh, uh, for for children and teenagers. Um, just, just like just some some advice, I guess, if yeah. you want to call it advice, but but your own personal experience. Yeah. Um, I think I think that you'll find so many amazing adults who stutter and have. Uh, incredible jobs and are doing, doing doing very very well for themselves professionally socially um, and everything else so so I, th I think just by seeing their example you can know that you growing up um, uh, like like it's completely it's completely possible to be a person who stutters and successful in life